All right, let's jump back in. I'm going to do a Jacob and Esau run. Both of these characters, I believe, will be in Repentance. Jacob and Esau, it's two people. One of them is red. Both have different health bars. Both have their own um, items, I think. I think if I hold control, I, I can move one and not the other. If I do it just right, we can get both the items from the item and both of them. Yep, I can't wait to get both of these items. Oh boy. The better Dante and Karen. And Shadow. Johnny Gray gifted a sub to Landetian. Or is it Landedian? That paint it forward. Awesome. Will Jacob and Esau be two players? There is going to be true co-op. But I... I don't know. That'd be an interesting thing if he allowed them to, like... Be played by two different people. But still only count for one character. I think the pills are and the cards are automatically taken at the moment you pick them up because there is no way to separate two different buttons to use one for him, one for her. They're both him, but it was a him and her joke. Unlikely, but we'd be cool for online. Online co-op is not a thing that Ed is interested in ever. Um, it's just, it's been a hard no from day one. But we do have uh, remote play together, which is kind of trash. And, you know, I'd like Steam to make remote play better, honestly. Well, playing in co-op disable achievements. If I remember to ask that, then I will ask it. Can I get some red health here. Do they drop two different bombs? I think they might actually. So if I could actually plan this out. It's called being a genius. Super, super, super genius. Super. I hate these two guys. Never win with these characters. Why? You have double the power. Double the fun, double mint gum. Do, 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 Ah! This is an absolute flipping nightmare with these two characters. The balance dodging all of this BS with those hitboxes. Do what I can. I thought I was supposed to get two items from everything, but maybe I was wrong. Okay. Do we want to go alt floors? You know what? With this character specifically, we have to unlock the non-alt floors. So, we're going to go just down regularly. It's not a very strong run either, so. I'm going to take a nap since I slept like crazy last night and woke up early. I'll be back later, though. Thanks, PK, for the bits. Booty. Ba -ba -boo -boo -bee -ba 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 -boo. Drive by fruiting. Oh, 
I need that. There we go. Double solar protection. Double bagging it. Build my test, Dad. This is my savior right now. Driver's head. Let's sing anti-birth basement theme Vivo. And a monopod's acapella for every song. Dark bomb take that? He did. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Hmm. We don't need to do this. I might as well line it up as such. Dee -dee. A voice Hut's voice mod? I didn't mean to go into there. There you go, Dark Bum. Uh, knock yourself out. I'll take. Now we have two soul arts for each. Son of a biscuit maker. There could totally be a top secret room. PowerPoint slideshow. Yo, it's dark, uh, dark bomb room central. Look at me, I'm like ready to take deals with the devil. I think it is better to power up one of the characters and not the other. If we're being honest, instead of splitting the difference, we could just have one that carries and the other one that follows. Dark bomb all you can eat. Calvin siege five total. Time sure flies. Welcome back. Let's find that item room though. That's the one positive thing Jacob and Esau on the alt floors. You do get the two item rooms per item room. Or two items per item room, rather. And then you can take both of them if you cheese it. If you're perfect. Might I? I don't think that matters. We'll put it on the main character just in case. <laughs> Would really throw me off if one of us had flight and the other one didn't, but I'm not going to turn down flight. Because the only way to get both of them with flight is to start with one of them. Nah, mean dog. Um, do we have active items in this? I think so. Positive of a character shouldn't be a cheese. This is why I hope they get reworked for repentance. I think that's been Ed's main job with anti-birth has been the ultimate balancer. That's just some cards. We'll wait on that. It might teleport me out. Uh, 
Now we both look the same. Uh-oh. I mean, obviously one of us looks terrifying. What does this item do on this floor? I think it's better to wait, yeah? Too spooky for you. Enemies will get feared when they get too close to me. That'll actually be really good because we've been having problems of enemies actually hitting me with melee. Two spoops. Caves 2 is a good one to use Pandora's box on. We could switch over to the alt floors at this point in time. I'm still thinking no, though. Ooh. Oh, to, oh, shit. No option there. We couldn't have saved it. No use in crying over spilled milk. No use in crying over my spilled macchiato. You spilled my macchiato. I can't leave anymore. I was going to go down and get that mini boss, but I can't anymore. Okay. 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 I'm like Smooth McGroove, except for I'm like Derp McFlurp. Is this modded? Nope. You're just so bad at the game, you've never seen this. And that's what I'll be telling people from now on. Cuts me cuts. Okay, you're- I'm too spoopy for you! Run away! Ah! That did not work at all. What was I supposed to do there? This is fun. This is like meow, meow. Just running by the gap. That was your fault. Do, do, do. Takes a certain amount of school to unlock this character. School is in session. Bumbo. Grazie. This guy needs it. Take Pyro and another bomb item at the same time. With them, you can get more than 99 bombs. I've had so many opportunities to take another bomb item on top of Pyro. Yep. Too many opportunities. This happens all the time. Pigeon prime time, six months, what's up? Guys are a little overactive. Easy there. Here goes. Smart fly, good. I'll be using that. I'm gonna take damage, he hunts down my enemies, I think. Probably not gonna shop it up. Let's go right for the boss. Caves or Catacombs 2 would be where I wanna pop my book, or my, my box, I mean. Correct? Ten dollars from Yon Megatron. Hang on, let me fight the boss first.
That was very difficult to see. The amount of times I've been sure YouTube over the last few years is too high to count. Thought I should give back a little thanks. Thank you so much, Yon Megatron. I appreciate the $10. Less than three. I want to go alt floors, right? Let's keep moving. Yeah, run a bovin. Wow, trash. My stream's still up, guys. My chat program just quit out. Gave up on life, didn't you, you bum? Still up. It's back. No, 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 no. Well, Steven, is that underrated IMO? Most familiars are bad because they miss so frequently. Yeah, I'm just completely spoiled by the fact that I know my damage will be higher and little Steven will still just be little Steven. What a trinket that would be if it guaranteed that familiars gained your stat increases. spiders. Not even once. Some tough champions in here. Although the too spooky is really neutering the, the maggots. They immediately stop their charge and they just leave. Too spooky is underrated. I am all. Don't really want to go in the shop, honestly. How about a last run after this? We'll see if we have time. It's 4.30. A little bit later than I thought it was going to be. Invicta wants to get on at 5 o'clock. That gives us 30 minutes to finish this run, and we're a little bit uh, behind schedule, I'd say. Although, we are progressing pretty quickly. I'm not really min-maxing the floors. I'm not full clearing. Doing everything right to finish this and get some unlocks. Maggots have anxiety. Crickets have arthritis. It's a spoon. The scooper. I scoop out my eyeballs and I get a peep-like eyeball, I think, that follows me around. If I'm not mistaken. You know, I just ate not that long ago. You guys ever, like, eat and then... You get this, like, stomach thing where you're like, I don't know if I'm full or if I'm getting acid reflux or if I'm hungry. I'm feeling that right now, and I'm like, there's no way I'm hungry. I ate, like, a huge lunch. I had a whole ass lunch. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Is that blue and blue? I think that was blue and blue. My peep eyeball. My peep ball. Gotta remember that's mine. I'm so programmed to dodge it. Is this one that doesn't ever shoot? This might be a Gertie that doesn't shoot. Still spawns flies that shoot, though. Revenge fly. Very good. Another underrated item. That, I think, is just nothing but bad on Rebirth, but, you know. 
I'm a risk taker. Plus four shots, or fire rate rather, and plus one damage. So I wouldn't say that was equal. I'd say that we kind of lost out on that one. We gained health though. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm pumping one up. I'm gonna pump Jacob up. So Jacob's gonna take that, Jacob's gonna take that. And for no punishment, mind you, and Jacob's gonna take that. Jacob's gonna go for everything. Jacob is the basket of which all of our eggs go. Two hearts, nine lives. So uh, based off rebirth. Thirst to the same feeling as being hungry. Shoot I used to get like that with thirst when it when I would drink pop when I was thirsty. And you're like, gosh darn it, how am I still thirsty? Pop, you mean soda? Soda, you mean Coke? Coke, you mean hard drugs? See Crasta, two months, long time lurker on YouTube, second ever stream, but sending my love, butts, huts, love, huts, love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Boy, howdy, do I hate this room. I don't think that the masks get, oh, they do get feared, but no, no, they get feared when I fear the heart. Oh gosh. Spunky dunky dunky dunk. Shrinky dinks. Why is it so dark? Is it so dark? I think that's just the game. I think that anti birth color scheme was a little off, but you know, I can pump up the gamma. I think I probably pumped up the gamma on rebirth. Darkness is never a good thing for compression. Do I know that one? That's good. It's uh it's somewhat saturated, but they also I mean the the, the enemies are very saturated. The, the the champions are very brightly colored in anti birth. Anti-Birth Champions kind of give me shiny Pokemon feels. Nice, all that health that we got from that. That was pretty sweet, right? Just when I look back on the fond memories on those blue fires. Let's get our freaking guppy. Put the guppy in my mouth. Reminds me I'm supposed to be shiny hunting. Honestly, I think my big fall off with Pokemon was due to time. I don't have time for Pokemon anymore. Shiny hunting, are you kidding me? Barely have time to wash my frickin' dishes. Okay. And you want me to go shiny hunting now, Pokemon? Pokemon specifically came up with ways to just destroy your time. And if I don't have time to watch Lord of the Rings, I don't have time to find your frickin' shinies. Okay, Pokemon? You think you're more important than Lord of the Rings? Exact reason why I never even thought about playing World of Warcraft. Looked awesome. Knew it would destroy my life. I'm the person, that, the type of person that gets obsessed with things. Actually, yes. I tried to catch all the original Pokemon. Couldn't do that. I don't have enough time to catch the original Pokemon. 
That's just fair. Oh, I love how they, they hit me and then they split me up. That's just really cool. Just lovely, dear. You don't have to shiny hunt. I also don't have to catch all the Pokemon. But if you want to be a true Pokemon master... What's the tagline? Gotta catch them all. Not like, eh. Catch some of them. Gotta catch them all or you're weak. Gotta catch a reasonable amount. A no brainer. That's gonna turn the run around, I'd say. Things are looking up. Spunky donkey donkey dunk. Hema Temesis. I don't have a key to get into the shop. Gotta catch an entire team of your favorite Pokemon. And I may have been going on for how long and Ash still hasn't caught them all. Needless to say, it's an optional quest. Are they still making Pokemon anime? That's still a thing? It's maybe six of them and use them for the whole game. Yes. Yeah, they are. Kind of rebooted it. Pokemon will never die and Ash will never age. Just like me. Mexican Penguin 16 between Monster Hunter Rise, Risk of Rain 2 update, and Repentance March is a good month. Also, hello. How have you been holding up? I've been, uh, I've been feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking. Been busy. But good busy. Been feeling okay. I don't know if you guys caught my tweet the other day, but, um, I had a dream. Right. That I had, like, met somebody. A certain female that was, like, super amazing. It was one of those ultra, uber, realistic dreams. And, um... I vibed with this girl that I met, like, super hard. I don't... I think they're glued together. So I think a, a, a speed up is a speed up. Or it's nothing. Maybe it's nothing. Uh, but yeah, no, I met this girl and we just hit it off and it was amazing. We had a wonderful day and then I woke up. I literally like woke up and I was like, oh God, no, that was a dream. I, th I It was one of those that was like the most realistic dream you've ever had in your entire life. And I woke up like I had just lost somebody. And I think that that was maybe my body telling me that I'm ready to like seriously entertain the idea of a relationship. Which is, uh, kind of big news, I guess. I mean, I've been looking, but, um, I've been finding more and more that I just maybe wasn't ready, and I was looking... Not for the wrong reasons, but... I was, I was, I was less emotionally available than I had wanted to be. Ha ha ha, you're lonely! You want to ever ask yourself why you don't have friends? Maybe, maybe bullying caused you to be that way. But now you're going to make yourself a harder target of the bullying. Never good to rush it. Lost your dream woman intentionally. His brain needs a companion. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna go pull right here. We need to do both, but. My characters could stop splitting up randomly. That'd be great. They've been splitting up the damage taken pretty nicely, though. I gotta admit. 
Not as in like the damage they do, but the damage they've taken. You can initiate a relationship with star, star, star. That's supposed to say shit. Couldn't you have taken the Polaroid and the negative? Well, we couldn't have gone both ways. That would have been a risk. And it's a risk I'm willing to take. Some of you may die. Lord Hut Squad. Take your time finding the right person for you. Thanks, guys. Sometimes I just really need you guys to tell me how to live. I know. I know that uh, there there is a fine line, you guys, about being nice, supportive, and motivational, and then the other thing, where you end up uh, like kind of telling somebody. I'm not mad at you, by the way. This is not me trying to like gang up on you or anything. Um, I think what you said was totally fine. But to take that as an example of something larger that's happening over here that people really do, sometimes they're trying to be motivational and they're like, Huts, you just need to date somebody that's right for you, okay? So you need to go do that. Listen to me. Do... I'm like... Telling me to date somebody that's right for me, I'm... That, you know... While sounds good on paper, is almost insulting. <laughs> Huts, you need to breathe every day, okay? In and out. If you don't drink water, you're gonna die. Okay, those were actually pretty good ones. If you actually want to take a break to breathe. Point was, I know. Just find love, duh. Sometimes motivational uh, things can come off as condescending. A little, like a little bit, like a, like a you know, a tad, mm, tad bit. But I appreciate. It. I know you guys are just trying to build me up, Buttercup. Just to let me down, though. Worst of all, you never call, baby, when you say you will. But I love you still. Cause I need you more than anyone, darling. You know that I have from the start. Fill me up, but a cup. Don't break my heart. Oh, so I just want you to know that not everyone is right for you. But I am. Here's my number. Hit me up. Backseat and Huts is real life. It's been like really tough. It's been really tough online dating. It's been a huge hit to my confidence. Because apparently I come across like a giant waste of space on online dating. Uh, yeah, hi. I uh, play video games for a living. And I like camping. Like every other profile says. Traveling is cool, I guess. And if you're like, oh God, this fucking loser. Online dating is a big no-no. Well, let me just go out there and wrangle up the ladies. Very introverted, very introverted. Online dating is, is, I think, a great idea because I'm able to meet a lot of people that I wouldn't normally meet because I don't fucking meet people. Now that sounds like I'm angry. I'm not angry at you, but the situation. Why am I getting Fs? You still alive? Chat was giving me a bunch of Fs. I'm an introvert too. Online dating makes me even more nervous. Even more nervous than like, than what though? Even more nervous than not doing anything at all ever, right? Or even more nervous than approaching somebody in a public setting and being like, hey, 
I don't want to say that the only worth that you have to me is me putting my dick inside of you, but I'd like to date you. You know what I mean? Like, it's it just almost seems, especially with like the today's culture, like to approach a a woman with the intention of dating her almost seems sexist and it's weird. You know what I mean? It's I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong right now, please. Hey, girl, you got a boyfriend? Well, don't do it like that. No, but even still, I know I'm exaggerating, but still. This huge push of women like, fuck off. Don't ask me if I, if you want to date me. Don't approach me with the intention of dating. It almost feels even wrong. Not only am I introverted, but it feels wrong to approach somebody. Whereas online dating, you know that everybody is there for the purpose of dating and it's just you can cut the bullshit out that's kind of nice you know what I mean I think you're overthinking it tad I I'm I'm explaining to you Christavial that me thinking about approaching a woman in public inside feels wrong if I have the intention of asking her out on a date based on the culture and the things that I've been absorbing on the internet or on TV or here, which is the internet. Uh, yeah, no, it, it definitely feels that way. Don't look for sex, buddy. Look for friends. Y yeah, okay. It is interesting, though, that I'm not really in the market for friends. I find that quite interesting. Let's go for Guppy. Which Guppy item is better, you think? Probably the active item. I could give Esau the other one. But I don't know if it really matters. If we're being honest. Friends first before dating 100% fast. IMO. Yeah, no, no. I want to be... Uh, I think you guys are misunderstanding me. Like, not 100%. If there was anything higher than 100%, that's what it would be. Um, I want to be friends. I don't want a fuck buddy. I don't want a vagina in my house. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying like Worst case scenario if someone's like, well, let's just like hang out sometime and I'm like, I don't, I don't even hang out with my friend friends So I am actually approaching you With the intention that you would maybe be somebody that could like Hang out at my house and we would have a relationship and not like hit me up when you're going to go Camping or something, right? I don't know. It's like, I want to get a point across. And then all of a sudden, the, the idea of what I'm trying to say. Like, back when I said, uh, consent is sexy. And it just got ripped to pieces. And now I'm like, well, fuck. I don't... It wasn't in pieces when I brought it to you. But now I have to explain these pieces. I can't even explain the pieces. What you said made sense. Uh, we're ready to go. I think we're good to go. My significant other will most likely become my best friend. I mean, I can't predict the future, but I can tell you what, what's been the case in the past. What I'm saying is I'm not interested in like, uh, like, hey, let's, like I said, strictly be friends. So it is, it is a weird thing where it's like, I am looking for companionship beyond that because I don't have time for the other one but I would make time if it was a significant other situation but to approach somebody be like hey I want you to be my girlfriend is um I feel like inherently I it's been described to me as sexist It's a little nerve-wracking. Why? I, I, that's one of the things I do, like I said, like about online dating. Stop pulling my leg. I don't want to pull anything that you got going on. Yeah.
quarantine brought a lot of people down. I think that, um... One thing I will say, though, you guys are saying I'm overthinking about it. I, I, I think that inherently... Who the hell doesn't overthink dating? And secondly, if I met somebody in public... I'm not the one to go out of my way to, like, jump in on someone's conversation and be like, Hey, I know you don't know me and you never even set eyes on me, but look at me! It just doesn't happen. And that's okay, too. If there is somebody that I meet, though, that, it, that I hit it off with, the problem is... I just am not a social creature. <laughs> so there's not just a, ever, like, anybody in front of me that could be... That, that it could hit off with. That situation doesn't happen. If I go out on a, a night in the town, it's probably going to be with my two guy friends, one who's in a committed relationship for a very long time, and the other one who hasn't dated anybody in a very long time. And I'm... I have no idea if he's even interested. And so we're not getting different groups. Uh, there's no, like, intermingling of friend groups and, like, you know? It just literally doesn't happen. There is zero possibility of me meeting somebody in the wild at, at this point in time, even if there was no coronavirus. It would take me, like, hanging out with a friend who has either a, a, a different friend group, which as of right now doesn't really exist, or maybe my friend's girlfriend who brings in her friends, but that is off limits because of who they are and what they're in. And it's just like the zero. There was literally zero. Zip. Zilch chance of me just running into somebody in the wild. James, eight total. What's up? Getting pumped for the new DLC. Whoop, whoop. An under knuckle two months. You got it, brother. I avoid also contact with strangers at all costs. <laughs> Doesn't help. Oh, and welcome. Welcome to my life. Let's go sit in a pub and stare at everyone creepily. That's gotta be the secret room. I could play this dude. Or, uh, yeah, I've got the goat head. I should just play him. Wait until the pandemic's over and you can hang out at all the nerd spot again. Nerd spots. My experience, um, for example, there is a, um, a coffee shop slash board game shop called Steamship in Minneapolis, right? That's a nerd spot. If I was going to meet somebody like, oh, she's nerdy and cute. My experience has been any girl that's at these places want you to super fuck off because they're there to enjoy the things that they like, like playing Magic the Gathering or a board game without guys fucking hitting on them. And I use the word fucking because it's like a, mm, stop it. You know, you get the whole like, why don't you just let that girl enjoy her life thing and the approaching, even if it's not creepy, is still wrong. That's how, that's what I'm feeling. You can tell me I'm wrong, absolutely, but. I'm not gonna label everyone like this, but social gatherings of gamers usually smells like ass because they tend to have terrible hygiene. Okay, that was. I don't, I don't know where that came from. Who hurt you? Unlocked double baby. Coffee shop and game shop. Wow. You need a real one to be your wingman, it sounds like. That is Oculus Rift, I believe. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Oculus Rift as this character. I had the occult and it went through my first character and they just gave it to the second one. They were just like, hey, fuck off. Yeah, we'll just do that that way. Great. I'm glad that we were able to settle that. And now... I was gonna take the uh, thing as the other guy. 
But now I'm gonna take it as the first guy. Shit. Oh, it's completely lost because I had nine lives. So you know what? Whatever. Fuck everything. You gotta be friends with people first. I've dated people I met at FLGS, but not like the first day or even week. And that that's the kind of thing I think that I was trying to get, you know, the point across earlier. If I have time to be friends with somebody first. Right? I mean, like, that's how it would go, right? You, let's say I'm at a, a coffee shop or I'm at a board game shop or something like that, and I meet somebody, let's say her name is Brittany. And I'm like, hey, Brittany, uh, I noticed you were playing that game. Uh, do you want to, you know, I like that game too. You mind if I jump in or something? And they're like, yeah, sure. And then they're like, oh, yeah, here's my number. Let's play this game more. And then we, great. Well, let me schedule another, like, you know, once a week, let's get together and let's play this game. And then, like, that develops from there. Could happen, but once again, right now, feels like kind of a zilch chance. Courtney Murder 47, almost four years. Welcome back. I the cult is not Oculus Rift. It was the other one. So I get to control his tears a little bit like this. It would have been way better on the first guy too because of the um, lump of coal, but. It's tricky. It's, it's so tricky and and Everybody that I've ever met in my entire freaking life has just dumbed it down to being like, it's actually really easy and just do this. I don't want to say that everybody's wrong, but holy shit, is that just not how it works? I, I just don't think it works that way. It's never worked that way in my entire life and I've tried so many different things. Not even, not even close to that way has that worked. I think that a, a happenstance meeting of, of people and then either a friendship or something more comes of that is unbefuckingly lucky or people just threw in and they were like, well, I haven't met anybody else in my life, so we're going to get married. I'm like, no offense, but people do do that shit. Most people in my life around me, I would say, have... You know, especially older generation, like my parents, you're like, you two were the first people that met in a small town ever, and you just, you just decided to get married. That's not what I want. Go for an arranged marriage. Polling of marriage. Ask chat. Be confident and funny. You just call your mom Adam, your mom and dad Adam and Eve. What? Go on, love or host. For fuck's sake, bud. I don't know if you're talking to me. Questions? Oh, I caught a stream. What's up, meme lord? Play some guitar and a denim jacket. Yep, that's definitely up. Yep. Uh-huh. That's it. We've been waiting our whole life for that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I will find somebody. It will happen. I'm not worried that it won't ever happen, but I guarantee it won't happen in any of the ways that Chad has been suggesting or anybody in my life has suggested. All of these like simple DIY dating tips. That's not it. It's not gonna happen like that. How do I know? I just know. Happens next week. Totally could. It could happen later tonight. Probably not, though. Ask Tim out. Good thing I got that police officer on speed dial, huh?
Boo -doop, boo -doop, boo -doop, boo -doop, boo -doop. Am I crazy for wanting to put the soul on the weak one? You can gang up on the weaker ones. 25 cents does not matter. We need that tears on this guy. That does not matter. One of your interview questions for Ed. Do you have a single lady friend? Who loves poop as much as you? Dating's of just, it's wild. It's, it's wild. At this age, at this time. Oh, uh, it's five o'clock and Sinvicta's ready to go. Want to do a normal run? Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Capitan. Nice shades, man. I put them on for the 10 gifted subs. Last time I didn't have mirrored shades, people were yelling at me to get mirrored shades. Five to six minutes. This is just overwhelming, if you ask me. What a messy room. Just date Sinvicta. Problem solved. Fun fact, neither I nor Sin Victor are gay. A little nugget of information. Feel free to do with that what you will. Apart from that one flaw. Well, shit. Dates and Victor's mom. That's a nice three dollar bill effect right there. Oh God. If adversaries weren't hard enough. Alright, let's finish this sucker. How do I use the other one? Control. What's the other active item? Alt. Not alt. Q, right, Q, because we can't use uh, pills and cards. Right, glad we figured that out right at the end. Let's game me. Birthright, that's a fun one. Cool. Thanks to people on YouTube for watching. See you in the next one.